flow according to this guy. So his name is uh, Mihai Cheek Sent Mihai. He's a uh, his uh, oh dude, that was uh, beautiful. I know, I know. It's such a hard name to say. It's hard. Dude. It's hard, man. It's so hard to say. But Can you say it again. Mihai Cheek Sent Mihai. But it's hard. It's yeah. hard to spell even. So just <laughs> just search science of flow and you'll find it or psychology of flow. So this guy gave it gave it a psychological uh, meaning, which which to me made a lot of sense and I was really able to to cling on to that and kind of like I live by that. So to him, flow is so it's a state of mind when you're doing something and there's a clear goal, there's feedback, there's a balance of challenge and skills, and you're completely immersed. So those are kind of like the main key points, no? And it's a state, meaning you can be in flow, you can be out of flow. And he argues that most of the time, most people in the world are out of flow because the world is in natural disorder. And that's normal. It's just how it is. Even our minds. When we're idle, we start getting worried. We start thinking, what's next? What's tomorrow? What am I going to eat later? I wonder what happened to yeah. him or to her, right? Like, it's just the parang the normal. He argues that this is the normal disorder of, of the mind. And because of that, you can, most of the time, people are out of flow. But when people are in flow, he found that they are at the happiest. And he argues this because um, he's a World War II survivor. And he witnessed a lot of people in his life just go through adversity after World War II and... You know, they went through a lot of challenges, a lot of really traumatic stuff. And most of them could not get back from it. They just could not. But the people that he saw who were getting back up and recovering, they were getting into flow activities no matter what. So there are activities that, that, that help you get into flow. And I'm sure we can already start thinking of a lot of them. In fact, this conversation is a flow driver. Because I believe it. And That's true. It's already 9.42. Like time is flying by and yeah. I'm, I, we're having a great time, you know. So it's stuff like that. So um, this Hungarian psychologist with the, the very difficult name, he just says that this is such an important science or practice, practice yeah. even a way of life, philosophy, because yeah. it can just help you find happiness. The optimal experience that people go through in a flow state, that's where people are most happy. That's what he says. So I agree with that. That's the definition I live by. And I can attest that those are my happiest times. I agree. And it's so hard to be in the flow. I think maybe nowadays compared to before because of all the notifications, distractions, complexities of life, and now the pandemic. Like There's so many things that your brain will just sort of jump to and cause you to not be immersed in the moment even like your job maybe you know just so many of but how how do you like you personally are there any ways that you sort of get yourself into a flow state right. easily you know yeah right because it is a muscle that you build o- over definitely, time as well definitely, right yeah so interesting enough we we just had this flow immersion in zambales and we spoke about our goal for the immersion, it was like, okay, what we're going to do here is we're going to help people get more flow in their lives. And how are we going to do that? So we had we kind of developed like four pillars. And we, we said that find flow through movement, through nature, through breathing, and through conversation. So in no particular order, yeah. none, none, they don't come in any particular order. They can be interchange or whatever um some most of the time not everything's present especially nature nowadays you know not everybody is in nature right so um we said that because those are really big flow drivers as we've experienced as what chick sent me i would say in his book and as what we saw unfold during our immersion so movement there are many types of movement that can get you in flow but not all can get you in flow and i speak because I have tried so many kinds of movement. And uh, for as long as you put mindfulness into it and intention, it can get you in flow. So, But yeah. there are movements that might be easier, that that will be easier in, in doing that because you're forced to use the, the your brain. You're forced to think while moving. So back right. in the... Because you need that challenge. Yeah, to, exactly. A little bit of the challenge and skill you're yeah, talking about. Yeah, yeah. So... 
back in the day, you know, I used to be very much into like killer intense workouts, man. And I have no hate against them. I I I enjoyed those, but I may have been doing sense senseless reps, reps that I wasn't thinking about, reps that I would just like I just want to like, you know, like punish my body for what I ate and all of that stuff. So in contrast to that, when I do animal flow or rope flow, my brain is always, I got to be sharp because like I'm making these quick decisions and all of that because I want to know what am I going to do next? What am I going to do next? So there's an element of play into it actually. So play is a very good flow driver when it comes to movement. So, you know, that's that's for movement. And then nature. That makes sense. Of course, nature, when you're within nature, you just can't help but appreciate uh, the little things, right? Especially now. So when you're on a hike, when you're on a trek, or even when you're in the beach, right? Like even the most addicted person to the cell phone, if you see a beautiful sunset, you'll take a picture, but yeah. you got to put that down and you just got to look eventually, yeah. right? You just got to be like, wow, this is beautiful. And perhaps for that moment, you're in flow. So nature can really help you because your reverence towards nature is something bigger than you, something that's always been there, you know, something yeah. that's like so powerful, so beautiful, full of energy that can really help you appreciate and be in the moment. So that's nature. And then conversation because we believe that we were putting this, you know, we had 10 participants, so we told them, all right, guys, get to know each other. Make cuento. Um, what's, what are you all doing? How are you all feeling? Like, that's the kind of environment we're going to promote. So a culture of just, we're just going to talk. And if you don't feel like talking, it's all right. Let's just hang out. And conversation can really drive flow because it can be like, like a jam. Like, you're jamming with someone. Like, yeah. like now, we're exchanging ideas. We're exchanging you know, vibes and energy. So in that sense, man, in that sense, you're thinking about, you know, that you're getting into flow. And last but not the least is breathing. So breath work, I put as the last because I just want to put a bit more emphasis in it because this can really drive the other three. Because as what I told mm. people in, in our immersion, every time you feel like you're out of flow, something is distracting you, the most accessible thing is your breath. And hands down, you can access it anytime. And we gave them certain exercises that can kind of help help them just get in flow. Some couple of breathing exercises. So uh, we highlighted that. And then during the whole immersion, we were doing different kinds of breath work. And then, yeah, man, it was just so nice to see people get in flow in their own way. 